part number two. So yesterday we were just talking about SN1 and SN2. Maybe you still confused, but never mind. I will show to you some of the example later. Yeah, depend on the questions. And now we go for the elimination. In this topic, you have to understand about two, which are the reaction. Then secondly, the mechanism. Sure, this one also we are going to ask you. But to before we start it, from the organic chemistry, they got totally three thing of three dehydrating agent. You must 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 be careful. So that's why I give it to you some of the idea based on the hints over here. Wait now, my phone. Going back or something? Just only going for the same dehydrating agent heat, so we can able to obtain this compound finally, which is an alkene. Okay, this one is study in topic number three. Get it? Okay. Another agent I can introduce to you, which is this one also. They are hot alumina. Okay, this one also undergoing because some of the students didn't, didn't notice, they forgot about this one. They say, hey, this one is under one. Put the aluminium into the compound or what? The answer is wrong. It's undergoing, also going to remove water. So same do from the alcohol compound. So using the Al2O3, we can able to form alkene finally. Yeah, okay, this is the first. Secondly, we having this compound undergoing for the reaction we call dehydrohalogenation. Okay, in these two compounds, you must be careful when you use it. For those example, number one is under the type of E1, we use water in ethanol. Okay, this is the first half, later we're going to use it. Number two, which is under the E2 type, they are using KOH or NaOH in ethanol. You get it? Okay, sometimes this one will make you confused. But don't worry, the E1, E2, they will going to give it to you another hint. So this one as a support. Your dilemma, you don't know which one should be choose for the E1 or E2, we refer to the type of the molecule later. Yeah, so please remember about the two. And this compound undergoing the same way, which is they refer to the here. Both of them we will use tertiary halo alkane. Ah, for those still new, you still do not know how to recognize the tertiary halo alkane, refer to the CL attached to the C, this one, this is the C. This C must be connected with one, two, and three alkyl group, then we call tertiary halo alkane. Yeah, okay, then afterwards, if we're undergoing for E1 or E2, so finally, they can able to obtain the new compound. So which of the new compound should be? It's under the H and the CL to remove. They are from different carbon. I repeat, different carbon. Don't select the same carbon, you're getting wrong already. Okay? So finally, this compound can be obtained. Yeah, this compound because you refer to the Cl still remaining three carbon just only H and Cl going to remove and it just only one M product can be I repeat one M product because this C is connected with CH3 CH3 and CH3 they are same type if you remove the Cl from another one 
also going to you to produce the same compound. We call two methyl propene. You get what I mean? Yeah, just just only one end product, and followed by the side HCl. Okay, so remember about the two, and now we can apply into the equation. Print screen, thank you. Done, huh? Done, okay. Now you have to answer for me what is the chemical for it. Huh? We don't care about E1 or E2. We just want you to know how many M product can be obtained. How many product or products? So I give it to you two minutes. You quickly answer it first and match to my answer later. Come, do it now. Okay, let me start. From among 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, how many equations they will produce more than 2 M product? Try to guess how many of them. I repeat, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Among them, which one can produce more than 1 M product? Who know? My answer, my answer is 3 equations. Which 3? This 3. 1, 2, and three, it will come up with two M product. If let's say you can answer correctly, fine. So what's the M product should be? Refer to here. This is under dehydrohalogenation. So the H and C L is with from different carbon. H and C L. So finally, this compound can be obtained. And followed by H C L as a side product. Can I? Okay, next one also. I say this one is under just only one end product because the Cl, they will remove the H together from the carbon carbon side on the left, on the right. And also going to go in to remove and form another compound. So that's why from here you can see they can able to find out the compound. And some of you may be, they say, Mr. Lin, can I suggest the two compound without concern is how many? The answer is yes, you can. We won't deduct any mark. We just select the answer which is relevant. Okay, in case. But if let's say they got more than four compound, it's impossible already. They got something wrong on your answer. Okay, some students say, Mr. Lim, I can remove this one and this one, and we have to form two. Why you say one? Okay, you're not sure, you give the name. This compound we call propene. This one also we call as a Propene. They are same name. I mean, both of them are considered same. Get it? Okay. Then followed by one more side product. Get it? Can I? Okay. Then afterwards we go for number three. Number three. Yes, we are going to remove HCl and also by HCl left to the right, right to the left, and finally this compound can be obtained. One, another one. Okay, Tana. Okay, this answer give it to you. Maybe some of they, they are very they have a shortened eye. Say, Mr. Lim, something wrong with the answer. I say, how you know the answer is wrong? They say the number of the carbon which is not airy. I say, very good. You can observe what is mistake. 
totally four carbon but here only three normally students will make a mistake for those they put wrong of the positions and they didn't realize so that's why i advise for you when you draw the chemical structure you better do a check any of the missing carbon you have to add in out yeah so this compound consider the first and followed by the second yeah okay then afterwards sure the question sometimes will ask you which one consider major which one consider minor so if you can refer to the product itself based on the type of the this one we call the type of number substituted ah, now i say substituted refer to the cc here hey look here c and c they are attached to how many rq substituent h not counted this one also not counted this one the h no but we got one one of the rq group attached so this one consider what we call mono substituted yeah the next one is under the cc then so you have to understand it's about one and under the two of the group attached should be here okay so they got two of the substituted we call this one under dying substituted clear okay based on what theory that you are follow zetep rules remember about the rules normally it will contribute for you one mark okay then afterward tell me which one is major which one minor with the higher number of the substituted should this one consider major and this one consider a minor and followed by set product hcl okay any objections or any question you want to ask uh, yeah this one what is the difference between this one and the, the uh, elimination same eliminations and elimination is a process we're going to remove simple molecule we call elimination hcl okay the hydrohalogenations uh, they are undergoing the process or you can say uh, direction the hydrohalogenation okay they are elimination refer to mechanism oh uh sir mm. uh, may i know why the side product is not h2o and the cl negative h2o we got h2o okay so remember this oh negative is not alcohol huh? this one representing is NaOH or KOH because in the natural notes the elimination the side product is HOH and the CL negative HOH then the CL uh, negative elimination okay elimination let me do a check huh? okay maybe you can go for further but in the process here this is just only go for you remove the HCl so that's why the process we call dehydrohalogenation okay i will refer to the book that i confirm with you okay now remember okay furthermore when we go to the thought chemical structure so how many compounds should be refer to here h and the br correct h and the br next to it and uh, okay then furthermore this compound can be obtained okay so finally first compound can obtain like is okay uh, h and br here this is the first then continue by the second part this compound can be hmm, now i draw for you you have to decide and tell me which one consider the minor which one consider the major same thing c double bond c then followed by we got one and two Di substituted this one how many we got one we got two we got three so this is under the trying substituted okay according to the z 
blackhead rules. Mm. So this one undergoing we call the major product. Okay, this one is under the minor. Clear? Clear? Okay, so easy for you. You can able to do it. Okay, then followed by HBR. Okay, uh, this under reaction uh, reactions. Okay, now we go for this chemical structure. Sometimes the student when saw this one, they are so rushed to answer. It better you expand the chemical structure, they can see clearly. Okay, so this is the benzene ring, uh, sorry, the cyclohexanthine. Hmm. Okay, then afterwards we're going to remove. I made a mistake here, this one should be Cl. Cl. Okay, so how many end products should be? You say one. Maybe you say just only one, the HCl going to remove. But you see, you see clearly, actually cyclopentane itself, they got one more HCl that you're going to remove it. Understand? So finally, you can able to get this compound. This is the first one. Huh? And second compound like heat. Okay, so which one is major, which one is minor, then you can decide. Mr. Lim say CC here that we call focus. So C we got how many alkyl group? Only one, this one. Okay, so this is under mono substituted. And this one under the C, how many of the CC they attach? They got one, they got two, they got three. So this is under the trying substituted. Okay, so as a result, this is under the major. And this is the minor. Clear. And followed by HCl as a side product. Can I? Okay. Any question you want to ask? Compound number three, number four. Some students are very smart. They say, Mr. Lim, I realize this C they are not only connected with two sided, but they were connected with one more CH3 here. So is it you undergoing the BR itself and one more H from here to remove? I say yes, it will go to remove and finally this compound can be obtained. Okay, this compound. And finally you say, I'm saying then you should consider a new compound, isn't it? I say you can refer to the name. This compound name we call 2 methyl propene. Okay, 2 methyl propene, it can refer to which compound? So actually, this compound is a pure sound. This compound, this compound is same with this one, same with this one, this compound. They are same. Okay, so totally just only two M products instead of three. Why I'm so sure? Yes, because the carbon here containing the BR, they're connected with two CH3. So actually they are considered equivalent. So one just only show the removal of the HCl can representing for the two side compound. Same product can be obtained. Can I? Okay, okay. Now you know the direction, we can go to the mechanism. Uh, this mechanism we call E1, E2 and student we ask Mr. So Lin, yesterday we having 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1. How about this one? This one we're going to use a number. Yes, this is a number. The number we call as a 1, 2, 3 followed by 2, 1 followed by 3 here. Okay, so they mean in your syllabus you just focus in the E1, E2, E tertiary halo alkane, tertiary halo alkane, two only. The rest, jangan tanya. Yeah. Now refer to this question. Ah, is that it? Three chloro two three dimethyl pentane undergo elimination. So in water and it a first order reaction. Call out the six number. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3. Okay, so this compound 
you can able to draw the chemical structure roughly. 5 carbon, 2, 3 dimethyl, 3 chloro. Yes, we know that this is under the C with 1, 2, and 3 alkyl group. It's under tertiary. But how we know E1 and E2? It didn't set up there. You refer to the here in water. In water, still cannot refer to here. First order. Yes, this first order can tell you what is the first order. Here is the first order. This one. E1 and E2 is the first order. First order, how many steps? Two steps. Okay, then refer to tertiary halo alkane. So they give you hints already. Then you can able to draw the chemical structure followed by how they are undergoing the elimination to form the end product. There are. Okay, so from here, we can outline the mechanism. This, this is the mechanism, which is Okay, I didn't see the, I didn't show the HR, I didn't ask. So in exam, don't follow me. Uh. I just show to you how the way. So the first step we are undergoing to leave the CL itself. Remember, bonding will connect it. So you can able to show that the connection going to move and able to form this compound. And this we call carbon cation. With a positive charge, followed by CL eight electron. Yeah, clear. Okay, remember this is one of the H is a neighbor H, so we are undergoing to remove it. Okay, then finally we are undergoing to ask water to come. Water are uh, water molecules. Put four dot for the molecules and the water you want to form acidic medium. So the two electrons will give to the H. They say H, follow me. The H say cannot. I'm bonded with the carbon. So leave the electron to it. To which one? Is it to carbon? No. To the bonding. To the bonding. So finally, we can able to form this compound. Followed by hydronium ion. You want to draw hydronium ion? This is the ion structure. Remember, hydronium ion just only one pair electron because one more electron, one more pair electron using to bond the bonding O with H. Okay, if let's say you put H3PO plus, boom, the tone, will it remain? Okay, nah? okay, tiny to remind you, some students will say, Mr. Lim, I know that they, they got one more H here that we're going to remove, isn't it? I say, be careful, huh? be careful. You must remove the HCl from here, huh? the Cl ion, follow the Zytac rules. You can remove the here, finally, one mark or two mark will be going to be deducted because you're not following the Zytac rule to form the major end product. Clear or not? So you have to refer to this side. So that's why uh, during exam, you quickly rough out the chemical structure then we call any rules you have to apply. Yes, when you apply the rules, then you know which of the H followed by the HCl to remove. So you can able to form this is the major. Not trust, you can see that the C here. C connected with 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, it's under the quaternary, quaternary alkene. Okay. You understand? Yes, okay, this is the compound and do not sure the major unless the question said that to produce the minor product. But then you have to skip from doing the major, choose the minor from here to show the mechanism. But so far I refer to past master for how many years I never see any elimination in the mechanism as for form minor and product. Every year they will come up with the mechanism for major every year unless reaction okay explain why would happen to reaction if water is replaced by potassium hydroxide in 
it or not. What you're going to do? So you have to understand about uh, which of the parts should be, because you having the potassium hydroxide in ethanol. This is water only, ah, uh, water, ah, uh, water. But now you have a potassium. That means this one is getting to us more even, stronger and even faster. Why even faster? Because it's under the E two already. Remember, ah, uh, E two, ah, uh, E two. This one refer to the second order elimination okay okay then furthermore this give it to you as a very very strong basic okay strong basic which is oh negative in ethanol yeah here okay so that's why the E2 going to be apply and even faster because they apply second order and let's say you want to do for the red writing you can write out the red equal to K hydroxide then followed by the reactions uh, that means that the, pro the product going to be removed okay you can copy the whole name here Yeah. Okay, remember this is under the we call E2. E2 uh, E2. So you have to involve two of the rectants show for direction rate. But if let's say E1, E1 you don't need to write anything, you just only write out E1 refer to the K followed by what? Followed by this compound. Last semester, one student do a funny thing. They say, ah, I know, E1 refer to one of the rectum, so they put it's a K, red, uh, red equal to K followed by H2O, because they refer to water. Okay, I tell you, we laugh until die, because this answer considered wrong. You still have to know about, it refer to the rectum, and not refer to the water, in this case. So, zero mark we leave. Get it? Yeah, be careful when we answer, you must concern about which one the important rectum to write down the reaction rates. Okay, so the reason is over here because undergoing E2, they have a second order followed by they're using a strong basic in ethanol. Okay, print screen, thank you. Can I pass? Done? Mm, okay. Now we go for some of the combination for the question itself. For example, when nitro benzene react with concentrated nitric acid, HNO3, this benzene ring, followed by NO2. In the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, so this is catalyst. Yeah, compound C is formed. Name compound C. Uh, so this is under and O, and O under which type? Oh, soon you concern about, ha, ah, we know. Refer back to the list, we know nitro is under meta directing D activator. So finally, this compound able to obtain C by this compound. Get it? Okay, ah. C, you got two mark. Outline the mechanism. Ah, the mechanism that you have to refer back to yesterday the reaction scheme okay, uh, they got totally uh, how first one to form the electro file formation okay then go to the second step is undergoing the the donation of pi electron okay then afterwards to form the compound the final compounds yeah, so refer to it. B. Chlorobutane. Normally we forgot to put one chlorobutane undergo bimolecular nucleophilic substitution. Ah, some students will panic already. Don't worry first, call the six number out first. 
1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1. Okay, refer to here. One chlorobutene rough up the chemical structure. We know that it's under, yes, primary haloalkane. Nucleophilic substitution is referred to what? These two is under SN2. SN2, chapa chapa tuliskan, is under the bi molecular and consider second order. Ah, then the presence of potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide will provide you OH negative. And, uh, okay, now how many steps should be involved? One step only. Yeah, okay. State the effect of the rate of reaction when chlorobutane is represented by borobutane. Ah, one is a chloro, this is bromo. Chloro smaller, bromo bigger. Then, this is not undergoing the SN1, SN2. They want to ask you how about the rate. So from here, which one even faster? Yes, in the way that you can see the size of the bromo which is bigger. That's why we can able to go for it and give the idea how it should be. Okay? But one more thing to tell you, uh, hey, hey, class, listen here. Don't be confused between the SN1 yeah, with the acidity of alcohol. Okay, please, uh, they are totally different cases. Uh, don't combine it. You should remember yesterday we were talking about the acidity of alcohol based on the Cl, based on the Br, based on the electronegativity. Correct or not? But here, do not involve the electronegativity because we have to know about the size we affect to the reaction rate. Okay, so tell the answer first. Here, we know that the rate is considered increase. What is the reason? The reason go to explanation. Okay, first one is we know the atomic sign of bromine is larger than Cl. Okay, so that's why the C to the Br length is even bigger than C to the Cl length. Okay, and the C, we call that uh, the bond length, is under that inversely proportional to the bond strength. Okay, I summarize for you, uh, but during exam, don't do this one. Uh, you have to give in a full sentence. Okay. As a result, C and Br consider is what? It's weaker. Okay, it's a weaker in the bond strength. As a result, it can ever what? Easy to be substituted. Ah, so this is the way that how we explain based on the weight between two different sides of the halide atoms. Can I? Can okay. Done already. Now you go for the mechanism. So the mechanism you can refer back to it. Okay, yesterday I checked already from the book itself. The C itself when you show that you can show from this way. Then after the conversion, can I? No problem. Yeah. This one to show to us how about the conversion in between the two conformation. Yes, what's the questions? Uh, it, that means electronegativity only for alcohol. Uh, 
Yes, correct. Okay, correct. okay thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks for you to remind. In the discussion about the acidity of alcohol, you must involve the first alkyl group. Secondly, it's about the electronegativity. Yeah, okay. In this case, you are going to go for the substitution rate. You must involve the bond strength, the bond length to the bond strength, and go for the rate of fractions. Yeah, so I leave it for you. Number three, you can able to go for it and study how the wave will answer. Can I? Okay, you can post it to the team and afterwards let me do a check. Okay, okay. now we go to the C part. Comment about the solubility of methyl benzene in water. So you have to concern about uh, based on what? Give me some key point. C R. Okay, before this, can you print screen for it? Done. Okay, done. I give it to you a new page to study. So now we study about uh, the compound itself, which is toluene versus water. Okay. Do tell me about the point. So we have to concern about water is aqueous, but toluene, this is under what? Organic. Organic solvent. This is aqueous. Yeah, so you have to use the key point which is first thing you have to mention about the toluene itself which is not soluble in water. We give to you one mark because the toluene itself which is considered non-polar molecules. Second point. Okay, non-polar molecules. Oh, you want me to write in proper way, are you? Okay, first one is this is the toluene, toluene which is not soluble in water okay and secondly why because it's considered non-polar molecules okay since it's a non-polar molecules so it should be attached with when the wall forces Yeah. Next one, we have to concern about the toluene itself. If let's say you compare to water, this toluene the size of what has a larger molecular size. Okay, the size getting bigger compared to the water. Okay, so in here they give it to you is larger in size. So the intermolecular forces in here they getting to you what? Strong. Okay, yeah. So this side getting bigger. They are bigger than water. So that's why the when the wall in between the compound of toluene consider even more stronger. Okay, now, okay, then afterwards you can attach the hydrogen bonding is acid between The water molecules. Okay, as a result, you need to give more larger of energy 
to break it up to break the hydrogen bonding okay so that's why this one you make it what we break it the when the wall forces to dissolve the toluene in water you get my name yeah okay so look at here this is toluene and the toluene itself they can able to form the van der Waal forces because of the size is too big okay water uh, here's water okay so that's why you need to go for higher energy so you can able to separate in between the molecules of toluene so they can able to break the bone and come out as a weapon or come out with a solvent gas get it okay so this is the point that how the relationship in between toluene versus water here we are okay it doesn't mean some sort of make, make mistake they say methylene hydrogen bonding will form between the water and the toluene I give to you totally wrong no because hydrogen just only form hydrogen with itself in the intermediate in between the molecules of toluene so that's why they have to go for higher forces to break the hydrogen bonding and to make it the one the wall also getting stronger okay so you can study by yourself uh, about this okay green screen thank you uh, yeah uh, uh that's uh Last point is what uh, when the wall forces dissolve or uh, dissolve toluene in water. Yes, alright. So finally it, it is so insoluble or not soluble? Consider not soluble. Oh okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes, okay, welcome. Okay, once again, uh, because the size you have to give the point which is Look at here, they are not soluble. This is the point number one because they are non polar. Okay, the size is very important to make it the when the wall between the molecules even stronger. Okay, so that's why the um, larger amount is using it to break the hydrogen bond so it can against the when the wall forces. Like you and your friend is a very good friend. For more than 10 years suddenly you know a new friend which two weeks come over in between and try to gossip or maybe doing something bad thing between you how about your relationship with you and your friend it depends on the relationship isn't it so if let's say you trust you're going to separate from your friend if let's say you know you say no we are very comforting so that's why the molecules not even able to separate the forces we need more energy to make it the molecules separated one to each other okay Dana uh, sir, yes can you go back to previous slide I this mean one. the uh, yeah this one mm. uh, in the lecture slide if the uh, the total line is at the bottom it at the lowest part right then the after uh, set they still will at the uh, lowest part Mm, I checked already about this. This one, in many of the books, they can able to show uh, to show doesn't matter. It will be okay. Also, I put uh, both. Uh, if the doctor is at the middle, then the fat also at the middle also can. Uh. Mm, just only one more thing is you have to show in the tetrahedral shape. Do you see the tetrahedral shape? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Whatever if the conversion should be undergoing, then should be fine. Oh, okay, okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about uh, this is the dotted and also the solid line. Is it necessary that you have to hold and changing the position? The answer is no need. Because the under tetrahedral, you can rotate it. But make sure that you have to know about how the tetrahedral shape will be. Okay, you should draw it up using different conversion. D. Benzene undergo the federal craft 
alkylations with alkyl chloride to form B. So this is a compound and roughly you have to know this one should be involved benzene ring. Then followed by it's set up alkyl already. So the alkyl part, this is the alkyl part. So draw the cyclopropane followed by the alkyl. What is alkyl? Yes, put Cl here. You put Br will be accepted. But don't put H, huh? you put H wrong already. Yeah, so name the alkyl chloride used in the production of compound B. Okay, so you can able to draw the chemical structure like here. So finally, what is the name? Yes, the name we call chlorocyclopropane. Okay, outline the complete mechanism for the reaction above. Same thing, do not involve SN1, SN2. Ah. This is topic number four. Please show the step one. The formations of electrophile. Okay, then step two is about the donation of pi bond and followed by the end product formation. Get it? Get out. Okay, I wish yeah, I wish that you can try. Yeah, what question is it? Can put one chloro. You want to put one chloro, uh, the mark won't deducted. It will be accepted. Thank you, sir. Mm. Okay, why we cannot put one chloro? Because when you put the one here, you put any of the carbon dissolved. You put here, you put here, you put here, also consider the same. All of them are the same. Unless this one. Ah, you must put it one one dichloro. Must be compulsory. Yeah, so straight up here you just put coral pent cyclopropane should be fine. Uh, sir. Yeah. But just now that solubility, why hmm. we need to break the hydrogen bonding between the water molecules? Okay. First thing you have to concern about the tolerance the molecular size. Because the molecular size is so huge, it's bigger than high water. Yeah, water ah. and so when the solubility between the two here okay which is not very one to each other because hydrogen it just only happen in water but not in the toluene so that's why when the the we call the energy using it to break in between the two you must overcome the hydrogen bonding first the water okay Okay, let's say you want, I give to you more question about this. Okay, you can see that finally the benzene compound mostly they go to the same way. You have to go for first the polarity, the solubility, the size, the hydrogen bonding, the vulnerable bonding, vulnerable forces, all the things is going, going, going over there. So you have to know how the arrangement for each. Yeah, okay, now we go to the part we call Victor Greenet. Greenet region is under just only three parts. So the part number one, Greenet region with water, Greenet region with CO2 followed by hydrolysis. Put water under the presence of acid as a catalyst followed by carbonium. Okay, so this one actually is a hint for you when you answer it. Can you print screen for this one? Uh, okay, uh, now you try to guess what is the chemical structure should be. For example, we go to B first. Write the stepwise equation for the reactions between Grignard region. This is Grignard region. R, M, G, C, L, followed by water. So, how the reaction should be? You have to know about the what is M product will be undergoing to form. So, we give a general, general, general which is. MGX, Greenier region, 
when reacted with water so they can able to form alkane followed by MgOH X understand? Yeah. for example the compound that we have which is here So you can see that one, two, three, form back one, two, three, undergoing and followed by the Mg OH Cl that we have. Done. Can okay, this one reaction with water? Clear? Okay, now we go to another one, which is the carbon dioxide followed by acid. This acid refers to sulfuric acid mostly. Okay, once again, I give to you the general formula or equation. Yeah, so this general undergoing the CO2 followed by the acid in the hydrolysis. So then we can refer back to the chemical structure. Yeah. So this one normally we give it to you totally six marks. Okay, so you can print screen. Ah, uh, so yeah. For the CH three CH two, do we need to draw it out? CH two CH three, which one? Uh, for the R CH three CH two. Draw for what? Expanding ah. Uh? Uh, uh, uh. No, Nina, you can choose either condensed or you can use even expanded. But better okay. don't choose better don't choose skeleton, uh, please. Oh, so both are accepted right, for the yeah, skeleton yeah. And, uh, expanded and the condensed. Yes, yes. In the chemical structure, you can choose sweet then to answer. But make sure the format is correct. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We won't give it to you if let's say you choose this one is under condensed, then you draw for the expanded with deduct and one. No, we won't. Because they are same. They are considered same considered totally same. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Now we go for these questions. This question some students will be scared. But I, I told you tell you that don't be scared. You have to give the possible answer first. Then you go to the whole story, you can know about what you can answer. For example here, E is a C4H8, it's a done cyclic. They give you already branch chain hydrocarbon. Uh, so you know it's under the branch. Should be one, two, three, followed by branch here. Or not. We know C4H8, this is under 
the formula CNH2N. So it should be connected with here. Okay, double bond. Huh? Okay, any more answer? No, huh? okay, then afterward, proceed to the questions. Decanalize water bromine. Okay, water bromine and at the room temperature. Ah, now we know already this is under unsaturated. Should be CC double bond. Okay, ah? okay. some students will start to say, it's a name. If you draw this one, can I draw for this one? Can you draw for this one? Or maybe some of them say, it's a name. Can I draw for this one? This one correct? Okay, this one also correct. But this one considered wrong. Why wrong? Because when you put the CH3 at the car carbon terminal, this one actually is a longer carbon chain. It's not considered branch. It's linear. And this compound we call built to in. So this compound, sorry, it's started here branch already. Just only two answer can be selected here. And now, okay, next one. E also ran with hydrogen chloride to form major product F. So that is stated here, mentioned to you, this is considered major and product must be recalled unsymmetrically. Unsymmetrical uh, alkene compound. You get my point? Okay, this one consider symmetrically, but be careful when you answer, you must know which of the H should be attached according to the mechanical rules. Okay? So when F is reflux with the sodium hydroxide, G is formed. Hydrogen hydroxide. Hmm? Okay, then in separated experiment, S reflux with potassium cyanide ethanol to form compound H. Uh, so you have to suggest what is the E, F, G, and H. So what compound? This is the first compound. We call it E. Okay. So then afterwards, you do for the second part, you go for hydrogen chloride. You to follow the marketing curve rules. So this is the F compound. You see, okay, this is E, F. Okay, this compound is under hydrogen, sodium hydro hydroxide, followed by reflux. Ah, Sun Sing, Sun Sing, this is what ah, I say. Check the answer for the F compound. It's under what? It's under tertiary halo alkane. So, if you're undergoing for what? This is under SN1. SM1. Okay, call the six number that you can answer. So finally, the compound itself will ever be substituted and to form this one. OH. So this is compound number G. Okay, yeah. okay then afterwards, this G compound is undergoing the potassium cyanide. Potassium cyanide. So Undergoing the Cl, we know this L to be substituted and to form a compound containing cyano. Here should be. Okay, okay. some of the words that can able to help you, but you just only have to concern in what condition it should be. Okay, so state the rules apply to obtain F. Yes, the H and Cl is undergoing that we can able to form it using mechanical rules. Okay, mechanical rules apply when the H attached to the mole of the C 
and to make the stabilized compound. Yeah, okay, you can print screen. Uh, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, for the H, right? Uh, hmm. uh, H, but uh, when it undergo elimination, why the product is not uh alkene? Uh, can you repeat your questions? I mean, uh, I've refused with potassium cyanide, right? Yeah. In cano, eh? Oh, oh, I get it already. Sorry, sir. That one is substitution. Hmm. Yeah. Correct. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, small case. Okay, so some students are getting confused about this. Please refer to the lecture notes or record the table just I show to you. Okay, okay, done already. Still confused, huh? okay, never mind. I give to you one more. Ha, huh? look at the 6A. I give it to you three minutes. You try to give some idea how the compound for P, Q, R, and S. Okay, do it now. Sometimes the student when you do for this one, they will, they will panic. I say you don't be panic first. You draw out the reaction scheme. For example, hydrohalogenation of ethene. Ah, then you draw ethene. Okay, with hydrogen chloride, HCl, to form compound P. Okay, put P, circle. Okay, when P react with magnesium in dry ether, ah, draw. Magnesium, ether. Okay, followed by propanone, propanone here. Yeah, we know that with the magnesium, sure this one we're able to, to form a temporary compound we call greenier reagent. Uh, this is a greenier reagent. Come, have a look. Compound all the same, you just only need to insert the Mg before Cl. Understand? Okay, now, okay. This is the green region, and they're going to be reacted with ketone. Ah, so you take your common sense idea. Mr. Lim say when green region react with ketone. So they can able to form a tertiary alcohol. This is common sense, ah, huh? common sense. Okay, now propanol compound Q is produced. So the compound Q, this is compound Q. Okay, how it look like? Look at here. This is a ketone. When going to form the alcohol, you have to know how to split how to split the OA itself compared to the greener region. Hey, can you see me? Ah, can you see Okay, this greener region is going to be clipped on here. This one. Okay, nah? So this is a ketone. They will take Mg. Cl and this whole part is going to be connected at the bottom here. It becomes CH2 and CH3. All the ketone aldo, ketone aldehyde and formaldehyde to form alcohol do the same way. Yeah, okay. Then afterwards we call this compound, then finally you can able to erase the MGVR and replace by H. So as initially Mr. Lim uh, means I told you just now. Yes, finally we can able to form alcohol with one, two, three, tertiary alcohol. Yeah, okay. Then afterward, acid hydrolysis of Q 
give R. So how the R is look like? R the mean is undergoing to form the alcohol. Okay, alcohol. So this one undergoing to become the R. We got P, we got Q, we got R, and followed by R react with ethanoic acid with the presence of sulfuric acid ah this one is very famous already because it's alcohol then with the carboxylic acid acid you know see the acid show that you know s is under ester can okay, i okay you copy this one first or you print screen first i will show to you how the reaction should be Sir. Yep. The question say compound P react with the magnesium and then followed by addition of propanol will become the Q ma. But why the Q is the compound that the compound P react with magnesium? Okay, suppose the propanol should be undergoing the next one. Maybe we said that uh, this compound is produced is before the addition of propanol. Okay. Uh? Uh, sir, then what is mean by acid hydrolysis? Acid hydrolysis is undergoing for the this part. Okay, I'll show to you later. Okay, come. Now we have the rough idea. Okay, this is the meaning. Can you print screen first before I show to you? Yeah, that's it. Okay, this is the way that we're undergoing to form it. For example, this case. Okay, have a look. This is Hello alkane with Cl. Okay, yeah. This one, huh? okay. When you put magnesium, okay, with the presence of ether, then you can able to form a compound itself containing MgCl. Okay, have a look. This is Mg is located in between the carbon and the chlorine. So this compound we call Grignard reagent. Okay, so far any problem? No problem, ah. Huh? Okay, this one any of the Grignard reagent can be formed when you react magnesium with, for example, this compound. Also, hey, take a look. Okay, huh? we have this compound. Br also undergoing. Mg by ether, we can able to form this compound. Okay, also we call green air reagent. And now, okay, then afterwards, in the way that we're going to form the alcohol, you got totally three different ways. Way number one is this green air reagent going to be added with formaldehyde formaldehyde ah, this is formaldehyde this is yeah formaldehyde ah. finally they can able to form the primary alcohol you get my point okay then afterwards if let's say you add it with aldehyde you can able to form alcohol we call the secondary alcohol. Okay, let's say you put it with the ketone. You're able to form a tertiary alcohol. So this is common sense for you, huh? Common sense. Okay. In these questions, if let's say I select this is the unit region. In any this one. Okay, then I'm going to react it with ketone. For example, here, remember this is the first part, and I have to add with H3O. So, this is the agent going for the hydrolysis. 
you get my thing so the main during the process you are able to form the compound itself by separating the MGCL and to form this compound for temporary Okay, see ya. This is the compound for ketone. Here, here. Propanone. Propanone. Okay, so the green region going to separate become two parts. First part, MGCL attached to the O. Must remember, all the time attached to O. The two alkyl with the carbon here connected with the C and they will form a branch. One more branch for it. Uh, last part, you go for H3O plus and uh, this process the process name we call hydrolysis why because one of the H is going to be substituted with MGBL MGCL so they can able to form this is a final compound give it a lot Okay, so that's why the compound itself and followed by the part that we have, which is Mg, OH, followed by Cl. Okay, now. okay then that's why in a way you said that this name Mg, OH, Cl, how about one more H? Supposedly they got Mg, OH with two here. From where the OH? From here. <clears throat> okay, nah? okay, so this is the way that how about to form the alcohol and listen, nah? hey, this one all the time will come out. If let's say test 2 no, you know already, this one will come out in the final assessment. Okay. Any problem you want to ask among here? No, uh, okay. No, then we go for the second part of the alcohol with carboxylic acid. Okay, so just now mentioned to you already, the compound itself going to form the alcohol. This is the alcohol uh, undergoing hydrolysis. Then you have to know about how to form ester. Come, have a look. This is alcohol. This is carboxylic acid. Okay, then with the presence of the acid followed by heat, we call reflux. Huh? So they can able to form. I put prime here. This is we call the ester. R C O O. From where? From this part. Okay, then followed by the, the alcohol itself. This is the whole alcohol going to be connected here. Get it? Get out. Okay, so remember, uh, carboxylic acid all the time will contribute the H, oh, sorry, OH. Alcohol, H. So they can able to combine with together to form water. Do it? We are okay. If you're not familiar, this compound actually you can draw the chemical structure as well according to here. Um, something so complicated, how you draw it? Hey, make it here. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Three, uh, four carbon. Give the name. One, two, three, four. Then we know carbon number three attached with OH, then followed by the CH3. You get the idea? Yes, uh, okay. Then afterwards, they're using the reactions to form the ester this is the alcohol this is the capacity acid ok 
Okay, so finally, I can able to form, I copy this one first. Okay, then I join for the part of OH, the rest of the part. Okay, finally I do a check. Is it same or different compared to my compound? Yes, this is compound followed by water going to be eliminated. Sir, you're missing one A. Huh? Missing one O. Missing one O? Okay, missing one more O here. Can I? Okay, then refer to the chemical structure. S should be R C O O R. R C O O followed by the R of alcohol. Clear? Okay. So look like very complicated, but the concept over there, how how they change the chemical structure, you won't be panic. You know already this is the answer, this is the format. Okay? Any problem so far? Yeah. Yeah. So when drawing the ester carboxylic acid is at the left side and alcohol at the right side. Yes, correct. Okay, uh, Victor asked, is the name, let's say we draw the carboxylic elements at the ester, so is it the carboxylic acid all the time on our left? I say yes, carboxylic acid. And afterwards, alcohol all the time oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, is on our right, alcohol. So yes. If let's say you want to twist, but be careful when you twist, the whole structure also going to be switched. Done? That's uh... mm, Okay, so this is the way that we're going to study. And afterwards, we're going to proceed to the following part. Yeah, uh, this is the following. Ha, tong, tong, tong. B. Okay, once again, I won't give you any answer. You try first. Compared to the 6A, the hint is quite similar. You do it first before I give it to you the answer. Yep. Like uh, there's now the compound S one formation of ester must show the H two O for this must question. Show. Yes, yes, must show. Okay. Right, right, uh, unless the question asks you what is the chemical structure for S, uh, then you no need to show the water. Done. Done now. Okay. State the type of reaction for the formations of P. So how the P should be? The P should be under addition. You put addition, boleh terima. Or you put another more changing, but be careful ah. You can call it as a electrophilic. Electrophilic addition, pun boleh. But you put nucleophilic addition, so yeah, totally wrong, ah, no mark. So be careful. Shall we go further? Okay. Branch chain alkene J has the molecular formula C4HA. Uh, so you quickly write down what is the chemical structure should be. It's stated here, branch, ah, branch. One, two, three. See here. One, two, three. See here. Actually, they are same. Huh? They are same. Okay, time last one. J react with HBr to produce K. K. So you have to connect it. And according to the mechanical rules, this compound can be obtained.
Okay, now? Okay, next one. Hmm. Compound care further reflux with ethan ethan ethanolic KCN. Ah, ethanol KCN. They mean this one is under the substitution for the CN itself. So they can able to afford to form the the compound L. Okay, compound L. So this is the CN. So finally, they can able to obtain the compound as this one. Okay, then furthermore, compound L itself is reduced to compound M. Compound, reduce, huh, reduce. So, how the reduction should be? So, it looks like reduction that you have to know what is a possible reduction consider famous for you. Okay, now, okay, now I introduce to you the reduction agent, reducing agent. Now, okay, now we're done already. Can you print screen before I proceed? Done. Done, thank you. Okay, now we go to one more part for you here. What is the most important reducing agent that you know? Here. Ah, now I'm talking about reducing agent. Ah. Okay, reducing agent got totally in your part, just only two, which is. NaBH4 with the presence of ethanol. Yeah, this growing pen uh, for long. Number one, and followed by water. Okay. Another one which is quite famous, which is L I A L H four. So, yeah. The first uh, reducing agent, the medium is ethanol or ethanol. 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 Okay. Mm. Yeah. So normally in my lessons, all the time I. I ask the student to remember. I say you have to know this is a reducing agent and how we know this is under reducing. It's under reducing. How we know? As a reducing agent, you must know the reagent itself must be containing more H. The H should be manya manya chuko. No H not even can reduce it. So that's why it refer to NABH, you got BH4. Lithium also H4. You can see the two H. They're very much then a layer. If it's qualified, become the reducing agent. But somehow, if let's say refer to here, an ABH4 compared to lithium ALH4, which one is more powerful? The answer is lithium is more powerful. You must know how the way the reducing should be. Okay. okay. Reducing that they got multiple way. For example, number one, you convert convert aldehyde to become alcohol. Okay, I have a lower. So this one is aldehyde. Okay, this one just only using the lead NABH4. Ethanol. And followed by water, it just only can add. Remember, uh, reduce the mean you add 2H, uh, 2H into the compound originally, so they can able to form a compound like here. Come, have a look. 2H, where are the 2H located? Once again, when I add with the H, I didn't move anything. I add with 1H over here, 1H over here. Can you see the 2H? 
Yes, uh, just only 2H. So finally, you can see the aldehyde have been reduced to become alcohol. Furthermore, it's a primary alcohol. Remember, the 2H located at the same carbon. Same carbon. Don't put any way. Okay, this is the first. Number two, undergoing, which is ketone. We're also going to form alcohol. Just now, we know we can form primary alcohol. But this time, ketone. It's a name, ketone. Okay, hey, give a very famous ketone that you know. Ah, I know, propanon. You're still using the same way. And have BS4, ethanol, then followed by water. Okay, how many H should be attached? Uh, is it same like aldehyde, 2H? Yes, which are the 2H? H number one, Sini. H number two, Sini. This one and here. Okay, so finally, we know that they can be able to form. It's a tertiary alcohol. Keep in your mind, ah. Okay, now, it's something we learned, learned in ABH4 already. Then how about lithium? Oh, lithium is like powerful. Lithium can go for reducing for how many? Totally, one, two, three. Three in your syllabus. Which are the three? Number one over here, I put A, ah. A, which is carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid, after reduce, then it will form alcohol plus water. Example here. Okay, this carboxylic acid, ah, and I'm using this one. Okay, now see, where are the four H should be attached? Copy the chemical structure, standby, and O, standby. Okay, first H, here. Second H, over here. Third H, over here, and they are going to separate. Where? Here. I put scissors, ah, scissors. So finally, they can able to form HOH. Separated water molecule will be formed. So you can see that totally they got 4H will be going for the aldehyde. So to form the 2M product. Adakah anda faham? Here. H1, H2, H3, H4. B, we use Ester. Ester, you can able to form, yes, you able to form not only one, but two alcohol. Okay, for example, just now we suggest the ester that here. Any yellow ester. Okay, ester, ah. Then afterward, we using the more powerful reducing agent. Hey, chuko chuko power kasi dia. Okay, so then, where are the four H should be contributed so we can able to form the compound itself? Yes, these are the four H. Come have a look. We're going to clip here. Scissors. Scissors. Okay, ah, clip, ah. okay, compound number one. This is the first H. This is the second H. This is the third H. Where is the fourth H? Yes, it's located here. This one. Can ah? Okay. Alcohol and alcohol can be obtained. Yeah, okay. So far, students done already. They forgot about one more thing. One more, which is using the nitrile. Then finally, they can able to form amine compound. Can I? Okay, for example, just now the chemical structure like this. Okay, 
we're using also the more powerful reducing agent it's a name is it 4H will be attached I say yes where are the 4H this is the 4H which are 1 2 3 and 4 1, 2, 3, 4 so you can see that totally 4H is more mostly we contributed from the difference reducing agent to form the end product boleh faham? can I? ok, come, print screen for this one Can I? Okay, so this will be called the reducing agent in your syllabus. You just only have to remember two of them. These are two, one and two. Any question you want to ask? Ah, almost party door. No question. Okay, good. Yeah, so now already, and you can able to see about the final answer. Yes, finally, the CN here that you're going to be attached, C with 1, 2, followed by N, 1 and 2 as N product. Can I common sense? Huh? Okay, so this one is going to be asked you during your test 2 or maybe your final assessment. Okay, C. Two unsaturated compound A and B are formed so when reagent C react with compound D. So this compound Br A and B so weird. How is it? Yes, we know that this is under the process of dehydrohalogenation. So the compound itself is going to be removed and finally they can able to form like here. This name saying this is the H. This is the H and the R. Yes, they're going to form. This is the N compound. Yeah. Then finally, they can able to remove the H from another one. From where they're going to remove? From here. Ah, this is the C neighbor here, isn't it? So they can able to form here. But which one consider major? Which one consider minor? You can decide it. For example, this is not clear, you can put one more H and try to identify. Yes, this is under what? C here and C here. Attach with one, two, three. So we know this under try substituted. Meanwhile, this one refers to the CC. It just only attach one and two. This is die. So this one consider a major and this one consider the final. Okay, so name the rules used to identify the major product. So the rules just mentioned to you, choose the higher of the number substituted. So normally, what is the name? Zatek rules. Okay, Zatek rules. Then state the region C. So this C, what should be going on? Mm, uh, yes, just I mentioned to you, OH with the presence of ethanol. Okay, but don't put H2SO4, uh, the sulfuric acid, uh, this one different cases. Jangan okay. silap. Yep. Part 3, I write sodium hydroxide in ethanol can. Sodium hydroxide in ethanol, boleh? Boleh? Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Some students put NOH with the ethanol. Or they put KOH in ethanol pun boleh. Okay, because both of them produce orange negative. Uh, okay. okay, have you print screen? Uh, okay. Question 7. Question 7 that uh, you can able to study. Yes, back to the benzene ring, the type of mechanism, then afterwards using the bromine. So we know this is under the mechanism. What is the name of the process? It's under bromination. 
cell bromination. Let's say you want to write out the mechanism, you can write out electrophilic substitution. Okay, now, okay, condition. What is the conditions? Condition should be the Fe Br3 okay, react as a catalyst. Okay, catalyst. Okay, now, okay, so now go to here. Draw the mechanism for reaction C with bromine. Uh, so this one can refer back to our same step. Just to mention to you, for example, the formation of electron file. And secondly, to form the pi electron to the new bond. And finally, what is the end product can be obtained? Some subject you can see the pattern all the same. You have to know about the sequence, what is the end product. And now, okay, then number three. State the expanded observation when chlorine when compound C react with bromine under suitable condition. So this is C. It's a benzene ring. Where will be out to with the presence of the catalyst. So finally, you can able to form bromobenzene followed by HBr. Ah, uh, then why is it? Yes, first one you have to know about the color of Br2. Br2, what's the color? Brownish. Okay, so you can able to give the answer, which is the brownish solution. You change to become what? Colorless solution. Okay, uh, okay. Then furthermore, hey, how about HBr here? You say nothing on the is under solution. No, in this reaction, they can able to form a acidic fumes. Okay, it's a fumes, and so at the top of the test tube, you can see the vapor itself. So when you use the pH, limus pepper or whatever, we can show you the presence of the acidic solution or acidic vapor. Acidic fume form. Yeah, okay. D is under topic number two. I don't want to discuss. This is under the free radical, not under your test two. Yeah, done already? Green screen? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the did? Zizek rule is at which chapter? Zizek rule is under chapter number five. And now, okay, now we go to D. D is under reaction scheme. Some students like it very much. Some students very scared. It's really so difficult how to do it. Don't be panic. You have to understand how formation from alcohol, then finally to form this one. This is under look like alcohol. And refer to your question. Please change to this. Because that's how I showed to you the whole question is based on the final assessment, which is not covered by test two. Okay, I give you a hint first. This is alcohol. This is come up with some of the different. You can see that the alcohol just only one, two, three, but suddenly one, two, three with one more a real group. It means something wrong already. What is the part that is able to attach? So you know this should be from alcohol. Yeah, so I give you hints, huh? you can show by yourself. Hints number one is this is alcohol. You have to think about how you are able to form a ketone. Okay, then after the ketone, you must give it to me to form alcohol. Okay, if you involve the, if let's say you want to form alcohol, you must involve the Grignard reagent. Okay, then your alcohol. You're back to here, you're undergoing the, the dehydration. SM. Okay, I, I up to you. You can find out. I give you hints already. You can try. If let's say you can find out, congratulations. You know how the way to form by the series 
of direction. Can I? You want, you post it in the Microsoft team, uh, Microsoft team, I will tell you which answer consider correct. Okay, print screen for this one. Uh, yeah. In some reaction, uh, we'll produce side product, right? Hmm, but we do uh, concern, we didn't concern about the side product. So we no need to draw the side product in reaction scheme. Uh? In let's say you draw it also no mark because we are focused on the major. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Sir. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Some of the question that we ask you about the chemical reaction. Chemical reaction, you can give to us the complete chemical equation. For example, A plus B to obtain C or D. But this is a reaction scheme. Normally, is we just focus on for those major compounds. You get my mean? Can I? Okay. Then come up with some question already. Mr. Nim, just now you say ketone form alcohol under reduction. But how can alcohol form ketone? Huh? This one should be under what process? Yes, it should be under the oxidation. Okay, oxidation. So now I introduce to you two or maybe three we call oxidizing agent should be used. Okay, which of them? First one is undergoing the name we call KL2Cl2O7 with the presence of acid condition. So this is the way that undergoing to form the compound, especially in the way that alcohol, hey listen here, alcohol, then finally they can able to form either it's a ketone or either they will form an aldehyde. I will show to you the example later. Okay, some student is saying, Mr. Lim, how about in the second one, I use the sodium, sodium dichromate. Hey, sodium dichromate pun boleh ya. But remember, put acidic and we had to go for the heat. We put triangle lagi selamat. Actually, I refer to some of the book already. The heat actually nothing. It just only to speed out the reactions. Okay, doesn't function anything. Ah. So this is the way. Okay, and uh, this one normally I will call it as a traffic light. Traffic light oxidizing agent. Why? Because all the time you will change the color from yellow to become green. This one also. From yellow, it becomes green. Okay. Question us. Mr. Lin, how we differentiate between oxidizing agent and the reducing agent? Hey, just now I mentioned to you, it let's say it's under reducing more H. Okay, more H, ah, hey, look here, banya H, no, four H. But how about oxidizing agent? More O. O7, O7, but must be put acid. So they can able to cook power and they can able to convert. How the conversion? This is the conversion. First one, let's say I got some primary alcohol. Okay, so remember, uh, don't say, uh, Mr. Lim, that's all that we can able to remove the H. Yes, it remove the H. How many H? 2 H will be going to be removed. Okay, uh, or you put the O here also can. Where are the 2 H? These are the 2 H. H number one. H number two. So finally, this compound is obtained. Okay, this is from primary alcohol to become aldehyde. Hey, Salim, how about the secondary? Hey, secondary like this now. This is secondary alcohol. Huh? So undergoing the oxidation. So finally, you can able to form a ketone. Can you see? Okay, this all is under general, uh, but during exam, don't do it. You must write the whole of the chemical to replace the O here because we don't know what type of oxidizing agent that you're going to use. Okay, uh, so be careful when you answer. One, other, two, other, bigger, put other. This one, you are so familiar for it. 
also the same way. Yeah, number four, this one, you just going to study for L2 student. This one you're going to know by it soon, which is silver nitrate, but it's not under acidic, it's under a basic ammonium hydroxide. And sometimes some question will come up with this one chromium trichromate, also one of the oxidizing agent. Okay, no heat, no time, nothing, uh, just only directly using for oxi as an oxidizing agent. You get the yes, point? Sir. Yep. The number four one is used for the silver mi mirror test, is it? Yes, correct. This is under the silver. Okay, under the silver, the precipitate that you're going to form it. Okay, silver mirror. Aldehyde show a presence of the silver mirror taste positive uh, with the presence of aldehyde. Ketone, tada, elect. Okay, print screen for this one. Uh, sir, yep. uh, if the question they didn't give the oxidizing agent, right, then what should we try? Mm, okay, thank you. Sometimes the question will ask you, write the chemical equations, then you know it's under oxidation, so you have to write it here. This is the compound. So please remember at least two. Uh, this is the two. Satu and Nubudua. And you can also use this one. Choose any three as an example. Okay. Number four, using for recall the, to distinguish between aldehyde versus ketone or versus other also can so remember about the three here choose any one to represent the OH the O here don't put this one ah. this one this one is a very general equation normally we won't accept it okay anything uh, so, so mm. uh, the first second and third one uh, they carry the same effect right remove two H yes you're going to remove the H and 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 extra knowledge huh? if with the presence of the oxidizing agent which is in excessive form aldehyde sometimes they were able to form what they will form carboxylic acid dalam keada yang berlebihan one more O will be added this one just happened in aldehyde never happened in ketone doing stable stable and middle in pain like that and uh, then okay like we draw about it and to form the ester oi totally wrong tak ada benda macam ni ya ah. okay okay print screen for this one thanks sir uh -huh. okay so this compound that we're going to study how it should be ah have a look come we go it together so this compound, it looks like iodine here, isn't it? And in OH. So we know this compound, finally, they can able to form CH2, CH2, OH. Wow. Alcohol. Hot. And L2O3. Really, Mr. Lim, you're so familiar just now. Uh, we know it is under what? Dehydrating agent. Remove water. Uh, so they can able to form a compound like this. Okay, next one. Undergoing for the sodium, yes, it's going to replace and to form the compound like this. Okay, this is the first answer. Some students they uh, will refer to the book because this one's under the sodium salt. So they can able to put O negative followed by Na positive pun mole. Do do pun mole. Done, uh, done, okay. Then finally, yeah, this is alcohol followed by this is under the acid chloride. Then finally, they can able to form an ester. An ester, in this case, you no need to apply heat. You also no need to apply 
acid because this is special for acid chloride they can able to form to react it to form ester directly okay not like carboxylic acid ah carboxylic acid and alcohol you must apply heat and acid Sir. Yep. The last one also is esterification or acylation, sir. Okay, this one is the formation of ester. So normally we won't call it as an esterification. This one we call it as acylation. So that means when carboxylic and alcohol only we call esterification lah. Yes, correct. Okay, okay, thanks. Welcome. Okay, you can print screen. And, uh, okay, one more thing to tell you is in the way that the chemical structure when you draw for here, you no need to balance it. For example, this is H2. This is H2. Uh, don't say, uh, this is H2. Uh, then you have to involve the two of the alcohol and etc. So you put the two here. We will circle, but don't worry, we won't deduct any mark. Okay, once again, in the reaction scheme of here, you no need to balance. Okay, done. Ah, okay, so this is the chemical structure and followed by here. Ah, now you try first how you answer it and show to me the answer before I ask you to convert. Okay, class, shall we? Can I? Okay, we quickly finish it, then you can see. Okay, first one is be careful. Uh, uh, now it's stated here the minor compound. So, quickly, if, let's say you're not familiar with the skeleton structure, tolong lah, uh, jangan cuba uh. So, draw it properly and try to know about how the chemical structure looks like. No harm, if, let's say you draw it rather than you just chinchai chinchai do it, isn't it? Can I? Okay, so HCl connected. 
then you're able to form if let's say mechanical rules so you're able to form h cl but this time you have to balik cl followed by h here yeah so this is the compound Then, okay, then afterwards, using the KCN, yes, you get able to form the E by the chemical structure like this. Upper yang kalau kis ni. Okay. And afterwards, E done, you have to go for the lithium. Ah, cukup power ni. So, you can able to form the compound itself. To form a mean compound. H, H, and H. Get it? Now, okay. Then this compound going for the magnesium to form G. G refer to the greener reagent okay, yeah, okay once again this is under a ketone ah, a ketone to form H so we know we're going to form ester so ester and not ester we're going to form alcohol so this is the alcohol How it should be? This one is going to be removed and connected with C H two C H with the C H three followed by the pentagon. Done. Okay, whatever structure, but make sure that you draw properly. Okay, so this one refer to H compound. Any question you want to ask? No, ah? no, okay. Print screen, thank you. Okay, so this one is not in your syllabus, but you can try if, let's say, question number one and question number two. We discussed so many, you can try yourself. Yeah, so these two, and followed by the reaction scheme. Okay, this reaction scheme just only certain part involved. For example, carboxylic acid with the presence of alcohol to form Q. Q is ester. Ah. Ah, then how about you form the following part? So this one you can try, but not cover in our topic. Okay, just only few of them. So this is under last part of we call the chloroform. How the chloroform should be? The chloroform will form with the condition of here. Student confuse. Alcohol, yes. Alcohol will form positive for iodine form, but not all. Uh, not all should be. You must be careful when you form the alcohol itself, based on the primary, secondary, and tertiary, followed by aldehyde and ketone, then followed by how the reaction undergoing. Is it clear? Clear. Okay, you're not clear, isn't it? So I refer to this chemical equation. Okay. So first one is this is the alcohol we show positive result for iodine form. Hey, class, have a look. This is the first. Number two, in the ketone itself, also we show a positive result. This is the ketone. Okay, nah? okay, so, and this one and two, we can able to conclude what is a chemical that we can go in to form positive or iodine form. Yeah, for example, here. How it should be? Class, have a look. The compound itself must be either alcohol, aldehyde, or ketone, and it must be consist here the CH3 for alcohol, H must be attached. So this one we give to you the positive result. Okay, remember? Uh? Okay, next one. This is primary alcohol. This is secondary alcohol so once again ch3 followed by h 
So this one will show a positive result. Next, this tertiary C S three no H. So this one will show a negative result for iodo form. Cannot. Okay, next one. C S three then with the H. So this one also will show a positive result. Okay, uh, L2 student. Okay, now refer to this compound. Even though this is a primary, but this part is not CH3. So this one also give it to you under a negative result. No. Okay, uh, now alcohol done already. You go to ketone and aldehyde. Yes, aldehyde with the CH3, yes, they give it to you is a positive. Ketone with the CH3, also we give positive and followed by this ketone with the CS3 also we give a positive result for iodo form is it clear clear okay so what condition should be in alcohol it must be CH3 at the part of terminal followed by the H next to the carbon itself ketone no need to H but we have to know about the CH3 as a terminal. Clear? Okay, so they can able to show a positive result and you can able to answer for the chemical equation here. Yeah, so roughly you go through it. E undergoing to form the D compound. So what is a compound should be? They can able to form the iodo form as a D. Okay? E you're going to form the Grignard region. So we know that this one should refer to the compound E here. So you can able to form F. Yeah. Then followed by G and H. So this one, I wish that you can refer to the note and try to answer and show to me. You get my point? Can I? Okay. So last one is under distinguish. To distinguish between the phenol compared to other compound, you must be careful. Listen carefully. If let's say you confuse about the compound that we studied before, for example, this compound, Mr. Lim, we studied about the Cl2 followed by FeCl3. So finally, we can able to form two M product. First one and followed by the second one. Isn't it? Okay, this one and this one, number one and number two, they are totally different. Don't combine it because why? This one with the presence of Cl2, this one tada, tada. But they can able to form a solution which is a purple color solution here to show you the phenol with the presence of the FeCl3 positive result. Okay, maybe during exam I will ask you to distinguish between the phenol compared to toluene. Hey, this one. compared to this one. Ah, you can use phenol with FeCl3 to form a purple color solution. Second alternative, yes, we can use the Br without the medium, ah, hey, no medium, ah, so we can able to form a, here, the 2,4,6-trichloro-phenol. So once again, this compound is under the white precipitate so to show you the presence of phenol also. Okay, so ah uh, so what should you do? Number one, you can go for the IO the formations of FTCL3 or you can add it with BL2 or or so you can able to form purple solution or white precipitate. Okay, so number two in let's say for this compound you say Salim this is alcohol can I use to form ester? I say yes. How you indicate the presence of ester? Yes, you just only take the smell of the product. It's like a fruity smell to show the presence of the ester. Pumule. You get it? But how about this one? Mr. Lin, this alcohol one, they can able to react with the carboxylic acid. Then afterwards, they can able to form ester, correct or not? The answer is no. In here, the phenol itself, you want to form ester, you cannot. 
because this one you have to add with sodium first so they can able to form sodium salts okay and sodium salt they can able to go for the reaction to form ester it take part okay it take two steps before you form the ester but alcohol single step you can able to form the salt the ester and take the smell is it clear clear okay so this is the idea that you have to do and write it down all detail so we can able to mark one by one do not leave it for a but didn't mention about the b compound either one we will give to you one mark so remember don't forget to put a and b using different type of the indicator okay okay so i think finish already for our topic then uh, i wish that you can do by your own revision most important is prepare your own notes so you're familiar with the note you can able to find the answer easily okay do you have any question to ask uh, sir yeah uh, can you go back to the question four question four which question four uh, question four Give this one. It's a uh, slide before this. The Batman. Ah, uh, this one. Uh -huh. uh, for the... Uh. Just now you got mentioned about the rate of reaction. Mm. So, when we need to uh, like write something like the rate of reaction will be double so what? Okay. Uh, you, you want me to explain or you want the, the thing to prove? Uh, prove. To prove. Okay, so we thought to hear this under the first order. First order for elimination, call the number out first. 1, 2, 3, then 2, 1, and 3. Okay, so this one refer to elimination. Both of them are the same, but they give it to you first order. First order refer to E1. E1, uh, E1. So in case that the question asks you, what will happen to the reaction if water replaced by potassium hydroxide? okay starting water you know this one refer to e1 then you go to the e2 ah, then what's e1 e2 different because e1 is you refer to the first order first order then furthermore refer to one rectum only but now it's under change to become potassium hydroxide is e2 so you refer to the second order then involve how many? Yes, two rectums. Get it? So if let's say they ask you about uh, what happened to the reaction, if let's say you replace, so you can give the point which is the reaction rate is increased. Get it? Yeah. So number two, what's the reason? Because you have to change from the E1 to become E2. So they mean E2 mechanism is happened. Okay, yeah, so two marks give two reasons, then should be happen. Uh, should be done. Am I answer your questions? Uh, sorry, sir, I asked the wrong question. <laughs> Can you go to uh, question four? Next slide. Uh, the part B one. Uh -huh. The state the effect of the rate of reactions. Is it? Mm. Uh, when I need to write, like the rate of reaction will be double. Will be double. Okay. So, we okay. This is not once again. Uh, this is not physical chemistry. So you cannot use double. Cannot use double. Uh, because we just only to compare about the rate, either increase or decrease. Do you understand? If you refer to the chlorobutane, chlorobutane you refer to yes, they are primary halo alkene bromobutane also refer to the same which is also a primary halo alkene but just only different in the size of the chlorine smaller bromine bigger so that's why the length between the bromine and also the C is considered longer 
longer, the strength weaker. The strength weaker, then it's easy to be substituted. And the reaction rate, higher. You get what I mean? Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. Answer for uh, the... I, I didn't say double. Uh. I didn't say double. Uh, yeah. uh. I'm just curious. Uh, for the part C, the, solu the solubility will increase or decrease if the alkyl group become larger. Larger than this. Actually, this one not increase or decrease. They will ask you about the solubility. Is it they are able to form single phase or not? Okay. 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 Mm. So you have to base on the polarity, either they are polar or non polar. And afterward, why non polar? Because of uh, the reason of when the wall compared to water, they are hydrogen. One is when the wall, one is hydrogen, they are not because they are from different team. Okay. Hydrogen, for example, ammonia with water, they are under hydrogen series. They are numb. They are so nine one to each other, they will form single phase. But now this is under water, hydrogen bonding, toluene, PDPDF, which is when the wall. So they not numb key. So that's why they cannot form a solubility. So uh, they cannot soluble one to each other. Uh, so last question. Yep. Can you go to the question five? Five. Yeah. yeah, for this one, the F will under what direction to form the H? Reflux with potassium cyanide, eh? under the SN? Under the SN. F is reflux with potassium cyanide, ethanol. Just now we discussed so many potassium cyanide, isn't it? So this one should be under SN. It refer to the F itself, either is under the primary or under the tertiary. So what SN should be? SN1. Hmm. SN1. Is it F is under 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1. Okay. So it, let's say F is under primary. So we know it's SN2. Okay. It, let's say it's under tertiary. So it's under SN1. I forgot already the F chemical structure. Okay. You draw and you let me know. Get it? Sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can go to question six, sir. Question six. Yeah, question six. Ah, uh, C, sir. C, sir. Ah, C. The next slide, sir. Ah, okay. Hey. Ah. So why the so like this one? They say they want to form two unsaturated compound. That means, like, uh, when do we need to use like H two S O four, sir, or to form the alkene? To form the alkene, hey, eh? when it's alcohol. Ah, this is alcohol, ah. In here, like alcohol. Ah, alcohol, you're going to form alkene. For example, this compound. This one, ah. So you have to use H2SO4 followed by heat. So you can able to remove plus water. Can you see or not? Then uh, AL2O3, sir. Ah, that one can be used for anything. L O L two O three, L two O three. Okay, this one you should refer to the chemical structure, especially for those who want to convert. Okay, here, this one. Okay, which is under the we call dehydrohalogenation. Okay, so finally, from the halo alkene that we have, you can form alkene. So the just now reactant C can put Al2O3 also, sir? Reaction C, I don't think. Because uh, dehydration uh, from alcohol become alkene, particularly we're just using the acid, sulfuric acid with heat. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, welcome. Keep in your mind, ah. Huh? Don't don't confuse about the two. So just now, why can I use H two S O four? H two S O four. Which one? Uh, the the one. Uh, how form two unsaturated one? Or is it you only form one product? So cannot be answered. 
No, this is another cases. For example, this is under Hello Alkane. Hello Alkane, can you use H2SO4? Okay. Oh, this one Hello Alkane, so it's Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. this, ah, understand, ah, this is alcohol, ah, alcohol, you use sulfuric acid. But this is a Hello Alkane, be careful, don't use sulfuric acid. Oh, ah, uh, sir, I have ah. a question. Yeah, for ah. the yesterday, right, I want, I want to confirm, is it acidity or alcohol is very, uh, inversely proportional to, uh, how many alkyl group? Okay, let's say you want to know, okay, extra question, ah, okay, extra questions about here. This is OH, then you got CH3, you got H, and H, then followed by CH3, and this is CH3, and H, followed by OH. Ah, tell me, which one is more acidic? Uh, yes, uh, uh, the first one. The first one. Okay, more acidity, ah. Okay, why is the reason? Because lesser alkyl group. Okay, very good. Because the CH3 here is just only one, but you're pushing electron toward the C here. Okay, this one also, but they got two sided. So, basically, this one, the C is considered more higher electro density. More oh. higher. So that's why the O here we're getting what? Very strong, uh, having a strengthen then to remove the, to let the H dissociated easily. So that's why, that's why H here is more easier compared to the H number two to the acidic solution. So the electron density is on O, not on C. Yeah. The C will induce the O to release the H. Understand? Okay, okay. Uh, then so how about electronegativity? How to affect the uh, acidity, acidity of alcohol? Electronegativity about the Cl compared to the Br to the OH. Understand? Between the Cl and the Br, we shall have a higher electronegativity. Uh, Cl. Okay, very good. Cl. So Cl, they will attract the electron toward and to make it the C, this one, lesser electron. Lesser, it becomes delta positive, and the O being is attracted, and let the H easy to remove. So this one, compare, SDT, L is larger than the R. Oh, okay, 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 sir. Okay. Yes, sir, can you ah. go back to next slide? I, the next, next one, next one. Uh, yeah, this one. The why the compound D is a hello alkane but not alcohol. Say it again. Uh, why the compound D not uh is a hello alkane? Okay. Eh? NaOH without ethanol? No ethanol? Okay, okay. Ah, uh, uh, no ethanol, uh, no ethanol, uh. remember how uh, no ethanol? So the main is just for what you OH negative to be substituted. Okay? Get it, uh? Okay, so don't eat no, uh, be careful. So that's why you have to refer to the uh we call the medium during the reactions. Okay, uh? so now almost seven. I wish that you enjoy your dinner. And anything that you can text me, I will try to answer you. Get it? Okay. So thank you very much for you all. No attendance will be taking, will be taken, and enjoy your Saturday night, uh, Sunday night. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And class is me. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner.